How's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome here to my channel and to a full moon reading for July 23rd. My name is Robin. Okay, so guys, uh, thanks for joining me. I think I said that already, but it's very early in the morning and I have not had enough um, coffee. <laughs> so let's plow on to your reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Moonology deck. This is an Oracle deck and we'll look at the message associated with the card I pull. Uh, the images of the moon are very interesting, but it, it can be any phase of the moon. So don't get caught up in what phase it is. Um, we'll just look at the message from the universe. We'll have a look there. Uh, it's time to take action, you guys. It's time to take action. And I actually, I love that there's the, uh, the head of the ram there. This is uh, the new moon in Aries. Okay, and you know what? I actually have... I actually have almost this identical tattoo on my body. Um, I'm an Aries, right? So I find this really fascinating. Um, <clears throat> it's time to take action, whatever action looks like for you, okay? It could be just giving yourself a pep talk. It could actually finally be taking the first step, step towards somebody, asking somebody out, applying for a job that you don't think that you're qualified or that you would ever get. Um, looking for a house in a new region, you know, just whatever it is. What is your goal? If you don't know what your goal is, just sit down and start writing them out. Um, and maybe look at your first goal. I think people tend to overwhelm themselves when it comes to, yeah, I, I want everything and then wonder why you can't achieve it. It's because you're just one person. Okay. So I love that card. That just like, really hits home for me, obviously, because I am an Aries, all right? So, um, and the fact that I have that tattoo is just, wow. Okay, so I'm going to take this as a strong reminder for myself, too. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. It is so hot here right now where I live, you guys. It's We've been on a heat warning for days and days and days. Even though I have the air conditioner on, it's like, it's just... <laughs> not enough okay so i'm gonna use the tattoo tarot ink and intuition to do the rest of this reading so we have the seven of swords seven of swords energy is it's a little bit devastating you know but this one i actually love the seven of swords if we pulled the seven of swords in the witch's tarot i would have an absolute creep factor reaction to it because it's so just you in the energy is so off um but in this seven of swords it's like your heart it's probably taken a bit of a beating right but you've got a lot left in you um you can see these swords here they're sort of piercing the heart but look at the strength and courage and like calling on to your I'm getting the word brain, but that just seems a little bit succinct for what I'm trying to say here. Just call upon the energies in you. Like you're going to have to reach really far back into the recesses of your inner cheerleader to start moving yourself forward. You know, so even if you have had some hits to your ego, hits to your heart, your career, whatever, stumbling blo blocks and you've taken them all on, you're still going and you're braver than ever now with this huge sword here protecting your heart. All of these are lessons along your life's path. You know, I talk about Earth School on my other channel, Oracle Rising, and this is where your soul comes to learn and to upgrade. And it is the toughest learning curve in the universe, okay? Planet Earth. So... It's like, why does this stuff keep happening to me? You know, it's so that you can get better than what is happening. It's so that you can get stronger than your circumstances and learn that your brain is all you really need in order to move forward. This is showing you that your thoughts create your reality and you've learned in the past what does not work for you, okay? So now you might be protecting your heart a little bit more with this Seven of Swords. But all in all, I find this a very interesting and compelling um, Seven of Swords card. Like, it's really focused on the self instead of other people. Um, and then combine that with this Moonology card, it's time to take action moving forward despite what has happened in the past and 
how your heart might have broken or shattered or you just, you know, sometimes life just brings you down to your knees and then eventually a face plant. And then you hear that voice within you. Hey, you can get up. You got this. Keep going. You know, and, and that's your inner fire. That is your higher self. That's your team and spirit. That's your courage and your strength and your soul wanting to continue on, you know you got this, you know, keep on telling yourself that every morning, you know, you've got this, I've got this, I can do this, you know, nothing is going to stop me, I am unstoppable, combine that with the Aries energy of this card, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so, you know, Aries put their head down, and their horns up, and bring it on, bring it on, you know, you can, you can see an Aries energy sometimes at a very low point, but this is a very, very like top of the mountain type of energy. And the seven of swords is matching that too. So this is going to be under this full moon an incredibly overwhelming and powerful emotion for you to swell up, beat your chest if you have to, go dance, you know, just really shake it off, you know, and keep moving forward. This is going to be a really powerful day or a couple of days here for you. So you have the two of swords. And, and what I love about this particular deck is how the heart is protected. Here's the two of swords and you have decisions to make and you can move at your own pace. I just saw an angel, angel number 649, and it's not a, a double, triple, or quadruple number, but it's a very distinctive and important angel number. So you guys might want to check that out after the reading. <clears throat> so you are being protected here. And again, your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts create your experiences. So... It's just like you have to protect your mind here more than anything else that is happening. You know, you can think your way out of anything. If you look at really top motivational speakers, you know, on manifesting, they talk about that. That's what the secret, the law of attraction is based on. Um, but also putting your heart into it. So there could be a situation that you need to protect your heart against right now. Because you're seeing that very clearly in these two swords. The two of swords and the seven of swords. And that's a lot of sword energy um, when you combine it. That's actually good advice when it comes to the Moonology card that we pulled. Because the Aries, um, their heart first, okay? And brain second. And I can attest to that. <laughs> so, it's like you really are being called on to... <clears throat> maybe think things through to a deeper degree as well you know what's that saying fools rush in and that's part of the aries energy and there's there's a definite aries overtone here simply because we have this you know and it's time to take action but you have to combine the action with careful thought not just pure heart you know um, especially in today's world where people are just waiting on the sidelines to scoop up what belongs to you. We have the seven of coins here. This is going to be a very important period of time to be planting seeds for the future. Okay, so seven of soil. Sorry, I was going to say the seven of soil. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> so... This is a time where whatever action that you're taking right now with this Moonology card, whatever thoughts you are thinking right now with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords, this is what you are planting for your future, okay? So you have to guard your thoughts, like really avoid malicious thinking. You know, the universe doesn't know if you're talking to yourself or talking about somebody else. It just thinks that you're talking about you, okay? So another thing that came out in this reading is there's two sevens. There's a seven of coins and the seven of swords. So that's an angel number seven, seven. So <clears throat> 
you probably, again, want to write down your goal list, have a look at it, think it through, and then put your heart into it, you know? Just really start visualizing. Um, I'm going to pull one more card here. And the King of Cups, like I was saying before, to put your heart into it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so the King of Cups, he uses his emotion, okay, to get where he wants. He's very balanced. Like I was saying before, Aries puts heart first and thought second, but this is where you're being encouraged to follow your heart, take action towards it, but make sure you're taking appropriate steps, not just <clears throat> doing something crazy, you know? You gotta plan things. Following your heart doesn't mean you're just blowing things apart to get things done. Like you really, my heart wants me to do this, but these are the steps that I'm going to take and I'm going to think it through because I realize that my thoughts create things. These are the seeds that I'm planting. This is how I want the rest of my life to unfold. And then you put the emotion into it. So it's kind of like a circular reference. You start off with your heart. You put extreme thought planning, and then you bring your emotional drive back into it. So, I mean, it, it seems really simple, but when your emotions are overrunning you, your thoughts get scattered. Like, you just don't know what to do. So, be very careful and considerate under this full moon about what it is that you're taking action for, why you're doing it, how you're going to get there. Like really just take some steps, like follow a plan. You can download plans, like how am I gonna get there? You can look at other people's experiences, but I find the most compelling card here is it's time to get off the sofa, put the remote down, put the, the controller down, just do something forward moving. Angel number one, two, two, one, you guys, under this full moon. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. So I was going to say ram it up for obvious reasons. Take care, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.